Hey guys, what is going on? This is Core Graphics here, and in this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to rig a model. So we're going to be doing some more advanced things in Cinema 4D. So let's get started on that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we need something to rig. So I'm just going to make a figure right here. And let's see, if I hit save, wow, that's a lot of pieces. You know what? I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm just going to drag it up a little bit. Actually, no. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to select all children. Then I'm going to connect the... Alright, much better. Alrighty, so we're about to rig this. And rigging, at first, it's a little complicated. But after you get used to it, you'll see that rigging is actually pretty easy. It just gets really tedious at certain points. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to character. And we are going to go to joint tool. And the first point that you make is going to be where there's absolutely no movement from that point. And which, whenever I'm doing this, I will typically start right at the crotch. Oh yeah. I said it, the crotch. So, what we're going to do is we're going to control click and just put a dot right there. Yeah, I like that, don't you? I don't. <laughs> anyway, uh, now what we're going to do here is we're going to go into our symmetry and we're going to turn in draw. going to control click as see now we're starting to get these little lines right there which is what we want so now we're just going to click in there and then click right there for the knees then we're going to click right there for the ankles we'll go back and we'll adjust those later Actually, you know what? No, let's adjust them right now. Go ahead, bring those back. Huh, I can only bring them one at a time. See how it is. Thing doesn't like me. Well, fine. Don't gotta like me. Gosh. So, gotta go back in here, find the joint that we wanna move, and then just bring it right in there. This is where things get tedious, as I said, and it gets tedious right away, actually. So, just move those to their respective positions. And, let's see, let's go ahead, go back to our joint tool. I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to drop some right there and whoa wait a minute what happened here okay maybe not there then how about let's just go ahead bring them forward and we're going to move those that one there that one there now what we need to do is we need to find out which one of these is going to match up with these? So, let's see. This is that leg. So, we need to find where we're going to connect this one to that point right there. So, go ahead. We're going to drag that down. And that, go, and that went ahead and uh, connected that. So, that way we got our foot. And then we're going to do basically the same thing. So we're going to make sure that right here and right here, these two points, they connect together. So drag that under. There we go. All right, so let's see. If I change it back. Whoa, what's going on? All righty. Can I just... Let's not do that. I want to drag it up to the root. Oh well. 
so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna name this left leg. Call this one right leg. And we're going to call that the main joint. It's actually better off to go ahead and start naming these things now so that way later on when we do rigging, it'll be easier to find what part controls which. So now we got to work on the upper body upper body and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click right there and then actually we're gonna draw a spine so we don't want any symmetry for the spine since the guy only has one spine so now we're gonna control click here control click there and control click there and now as you can see let's create a root for all of this what we're going to do is we're going to take this top joint let's name it spine close that and we're going to drag it under the main joint and as you can see it connects right there So now that we got that taken care of, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get his arms in. So we're going to control, click right there, and now we're going to go into our joint tool properties. We're going to turn on symmetry, go to draw, and control click here, control click there, control click there, and go ahead click right there so let's see this is the right arm and this one right here call that left arm and then you can go ahead and name all these other ones if you want by their sub parts but I just simply do not have the time for that. And I'm going to go ahead and fix up some of the positions because some of these are looking a little off. And we need them to be as precise as possible when we go to match up our skeleton with our mesh. Now this is a simple model, so I'm doing some simple rigging, but I am working on a project that involves Bumblebee from Transformers, and the rigging on that is a lot more complex since I have to take an account for the other parts of the mesh. So this one is fairly easy. Uh, perhaps I should always start at the top, then work my way down. Probably the best workflow you want to go for anyway. Now moving on to the right arm. So bring that down, get that to match in there. Get all these other points, get them to match. As I possibly can. Go to that one. Get that one looking good. Then that one. Now, what we do is we're just going to call that one arms. So, on our arms, we got right arm, left arm. We're gonna take our arms and we're gonna drag it right under so that way it connects with our whoa hold up we actually need to connect that with our spine so that way the link from our spine goes right to our arms 
now for the final touch and drawing in the skeleton for this. I need to go ahead and whoops might help if I turn off symmetry. So go into our properties. Let's see symmetry none. I'll draw one right there. Get one right there. And I'll draw one to the top of the head. And where's my root at? Root folder, root folder, where are you? Here it is. And I'll just call that neck. And then I'm going to name this one for the head since that's ultimately what it controls. Now we're going to take our neck and we're going to drag it right under our arms so that way it connects like that. Let's take a good look around. It's looking pretty good. I need to work on that. So what arm is that? It's our right arm. So I'll just drag that in. Take that piece. Got to make sure it looks nice and uh, somewhat professional for the tutorial. Now, if you're actually doing this for a client, I would recommend it 100% tutorial. 100% tutorial, wow, 100% professional, or as detailed as you possibly could get it. And now that we have our skeleton drawn in, you're probably wondering, how the heck do we get our skeleton to sink in with our mesh? Because right now, if you try to move something, like this right leg here, that's all that gets moved. And uh, it's not moving our mesh whatsoever. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to minimize, yeah, basically minimize all of that. Click on your mesh. And then you're going to go to select children. Then you're going to go to character. You're going to go to command. And then you're going to click bind. And once you have done that, you should be able to control where you put the bone at. So this is the right leg, so there we are. Now, you'll get a bit of this mesh right here, kind of out of its whack. But that's because I kept the re rendering. Wow, okay, I cannot, I cannot talk today for whatever reason. I kept the bone structure rather simple. But... If I go in through these joints right here, there we are. I can start moving everything and really start bringing them to life and however I want possible. Which is, in my once upon a speed art videos, sometimes you'll see me rigging a model like Bumblebee for example. I rigged that one, which I had kind of pre-rigged-ish. But I just did some more rigging on it, and then I got it to that position that I have it in. I'll post a picture in the description that you can, so that way you can see it. So, if I want him to do kind of like a disco pose, I guess. Let's go ahead, raise that arm up. And then, left arm. Bring that out. Start controlling all this. Which, that's the right arm. I don't know why I'm selecting the right arm. Yeah, there we are. Just kind of bring that where I want it. his hand around. Bring that in. And, you know, you 
can do some other wacky things that you want. Like, I'll take his right leg. Whoops, we don't want to do that. Uh, I think his leg's broken. <laughs> and we'll just stretch that out. Just kind of move that down. that so that way it faces however we want it and uh, ooh, that is nasty right there I should have went back and went over that but nevertheless it got the bulk of it so I'm not worried about it and that is how we rig a model so now if you want to take a model you want to make them dance you know how to draw out the bone structure and now you know how to move various parts around. If I run into the cell, it looks like he has to use the bathroom. Uh, you guys think he has, to, he has to use the bathroom because I think he does. I think he's doing the potty dance. Like whenever you're sitting in class and you raise your hand and you're like, uh, teacher, can I go to the bathroom please? Please, please, can I go now? Plocks. <laughs> yeah, that's, just, that's uh, pretty much what he looks like he's doing. Alright, so I have been Core Graphics, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Take care, guys.